All right, guys, back out at the range today with the Six Creed. Doing some repeats uh, from the last video. I actually increased, I uh, added one powder charge. I took away the lower one and added one on the high side. Um, just to see how that upper uh, velocity node, if there is one there, um, develops. Um, done nothing with the gun. Brass and everything has been prepped exactly the same. I'm still running the 105 uh, Hornady Boat Tail Hollow Point. And just looking for velocity numbers to repeat. So, don't have a tripod on the target today, so you're just getting me. Um, I forgot the tripod, but I remember my pencil for writing these things down. So, let's get going. All right, guys, I'm back from the range here with this Six Creed. And again, uh, I didn't have a target cam on this uh, this trip. I uh, forgot my tripod. <laughs> but still took the shots and got all the measurements. And uh, the top row here is the, uh, you know, the latest set of targets. And then this bottom row is the targets from the last video. Okay. And, you know, this set of six, these guys are direct repeats of each other. Okay. I was really interested to see how this thing would perform from one day to the next, right? And I did everything I could to make the reloading the same. Um, so let's just look at the velocities here. So this first group here, the first trip to the range, we shot a 3,029, okay? And the last, this current trip to the range was also a 3,029. Really weird. It's exactly the same, which is great, right? Extreme spreads are a little higher uh, this latest trip. Um, but where before we had, you know, 30 or 3,029, we went to, or we went to a 3,026, right? Had a really nice looking node there. Uh, that kind of fell away in this next set. So this is a 3,083 versus a 3,026. And then we had a 3,091 and a 3,062. Although, you know, <laughs> These guys kind of didn't, you know, this kind of fell away uh, in terms of repeating. Um, you know, it's not, it's not that, that far off, I guess I would say, uh, but it's not a very good uh, repeat, really. Um, and again, I don't know, as far as to the best of my ability and with the equipment that I have, reloads were exactly the same, okay? Um, so this is leading me to believe, well, it's leading me to question, I should say, uh, my chronograph a little bit. Um, I have a Caldwell, uh, you know, the green machine everybody has. Uh, it's kind of like your entry level uh, chronograph. So that's what I have. And that thing gives me some weird numbers sometimes. Um, I had a cloudy day, about 40 degrees for this bottom set. And I had a clear blue sky day. Uh, about 20 degrees when I shot, you know, this, this latest batch and, you know, temperature change uh, will affect these things a little bit. And typically you get a little bit higher pressure in the cold. Um, but I, I don't know, this is, this is almost 60 feet per second difference, right? It's 30 here, 60 here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think what I'm going to do next is two, two things, right? I, I did go up one, uh, higher uh, charge weight and started to see flat primers, right? So pretty much I'm, I won't go any higher than this. So I'm kind of stuck from here down. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at, you know, what this lower one looks like. Maybe this is a nice node here. I don't know. This was 3,018 versus a 3,029, right? 10 feet per second. That's nothing. All right. So maybe down here is where I need to be working. So that's, that's my idea, idea number one. Idea number two is I'm going to try to find somebody at the range, hopefully, that has either a lab radar, they'd let me shoot, you know, through, uh, or a magneto, right, that I could kind of borrow. And then I would really like to compare that head-to-head uh, -head with my Caldwell just to see, uh, you know, I kind of got to calibrate that thing or figure out if it's true or not, you know. But anyways, that's where we're at. Uh, I'm going to do one more trip before I start messing around with seating depth. Overall, 
These groups are not bad. You can see the as we get towards higher velocities, it's a better tune for 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 that. Uh, you know that seating depth is is tuned pretty well. You can see that down here where we had larger groups and then they got smaller uh, as we as we increase powder charge. Same thing up here, right? And it, these guys can all be shrunk up with with some seating depth. Uh, you know, tuning that load. The, the, there's a better tune on those higher um, you know higher velocity loads right now. So I'm not terribly unhappy with this. Actually, I, I, it's really nice to see some holes that are touching on this gun. You know, again, so. Um, you know, I'm not down about it, but I, I still have some work to do. I really want to try to make these 105s work. And then once I shake this thing out, I get these 105s kind of as good as I can. Uh, I want to jump up to 107s. I have a, a couple boxes of Sierra 107s. But uh, leave me some comments. I'm reading the comments. I know I haven't responded in a while. We've had weird weather here. But anyways, I'm reading the comments and I'm getting ideas. I'm, I'm actually working with, with another... Uh, YouTuber on uh, doing some uh, load uh, data analysis. Okay, so I need to get this video out for him to put into his model because uh, we're kind of shaking that out. And I kind of got some ideas on maybe a little collaboration we can do. Um, but anyways, that's that's the status of the Six Creed. Not terrible, uh, but not uh, not done yet, kind of thing. So, all right, guys, enough of me rambling here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. How to make this lickety split. I don't have my tripod on a target, so we're just going to make do with what we got. The good thing is I remembered my pencil so I can at least write uh, the speeds down. But got a guy in the house here. We're on a freaking muzzle brake. Freaking. You ninnies with your muzzle brakes. Okay, see how this goes.